Hey guys, this is Bananites, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we found another one of these nice little caves here in Nagay Village. Found it foiled and tainted by thugs of Cypher. And this episode, we'll be heading to the end of this cave, see if there's any more trash to take out. Let's get right to it. Oh, what's this guy doing? Oh, Suedu! Egan's in a heap of trouble. What shall we do? What shall we do? Egan might be the m mythical trainer, but he's pushing his luck if he thinks he could battle at his age. Isn't it more based on his Pokemon? Although, I guess his Pokemon are probably pretty old, too. Oh, what's going on here? Don't lose, old man. You, who are you? What are you doing here? What, what voice did I give him last time? That sounded way too deep. Although, although you may ask why we're here, we simply cannot answer that. I can see that you are a senior citizen, but I cannot allow you to interfere with our affairs. You're the ones interfering, shady creeps like you. I'll personally run out. I'll personally run out? Oh, sh shady creeps like you, I'll personally run out. <laughs> they were saying he would run out. Ah, now, now, someone so old shouldn't overdo it. Don't take me for a fool. All of you know that I was once hailed the most powerful trainer. That isn't all either. I have a comrade with whom I've been through thick and thin. This is the first Pokemon I got and it's been with me ever since. Okay, Pikachu, we haven't battled this much in a while. Let's keep focused. And we actually get a scripted battle here, guys. Now, the fact the fact that he said Well there's a few things that actually led a lot of Pokemon believers to have a lot of thoughts about this, and it's also the only single battle in the game by the way. Um a lot of people thought that Egan might be Ash from the anime when he got older, or I guess now you could say possibly Red from the manga, depending on which you're going by. Since the game came first, it is likely to be Red more than Ash. But since he had his Pikachu ever since he... Well, probably not Red since in the manga, Red had a Bulbasaur first. But anyway, um, they always thought that... A lot of people thought that this could be Ash, given that he has a Pikachu, he was once hailed one of the most powerful trainers, and I guess you could think, like, way later after everything in the anime, Ash could be a lot stronger than he once was. Uh, and the whole Pikachu thing. Plus the fact that, okay, a lot of people were into the whole pairing with Ash and Misty, and being her grandparents, Sweeto, you have to admit, does look like she could be related to Misty. I mean, she even has the whole ponytail thing going. But anyway... <laughs> Didn't I already say? An old man shouldn't overdo it. I'd say I do like Scrub's little horn thing on his helmet. Grandpa, Pikachu! P Pika! <laughs> how, how dare you! You'll never get away with this! Ah, now here's someone who may show me a more enjoyable time. Very well, on guard! <laughs> and you thrust right into a battle, but I'm pretty sure we all saw that coming, right guys? So we get into a true battle with Cypher Peon Scrub. Now, will he show us an enjoyable time? Well, that I actually have to wonder about, because as you guys can see, plainly see here, his Pokemon are actually a good deal higher level than you. I mean, his levels did jump a bit. So this battle could give you trouble, especially with his Shadow Hitmontop here. Now guys, Hitmontop is a fighting type Pokemon, and actually a pretty unique one at that. It evolves from Tyrogue. It has a very unique way of evolving, actually. It evolves from ty Tyrogue. Now, if Tyrogue has a... Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna chance this. Now, if... Actually, no. <laughs> if Tyrogue has equal attack and defense when it reaches level 20, it'll turn into Hitmontop. Otherwise, it'll turn into Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan, depending on which stat is higher. But anyway, guys, Hitmontop here is, like I said, a fighting-type Pokemon. One of not many good ones in the game. He has to mostly rely on... on, uh, Triple Kick for stab attacks, which isn't the best move, but it does suffice. And he's not necessarily a bad Pokemon. He does actually... Oh, wow, that did a lot, little bit of damage. Now, he actually does have his moments, and he has really good defense for a fighting type Pokemon, most of them are just purely attack, but, um, honestly, if you guys want a fighting type, I would more recommend Meditite or Makuhita, uh, basically Medicham or Hariyama for your team, 
they do a much better job. Not saying Hitmontop isn't that good of a Pokemon, it just doesn't do nearly as well as those two would on your team. So if you guys if you guys want to use Hitmontop, I won't stop you. I I guess I could recommend it if you really don't want to use Hariyama or Medicham, but those two Pokemon just do so much better than it, honestly. Now I'm actually nervous about this battle. Uh, not only for their high age, the high levels, I mean, on the other team, but for the fact that his hit on top here can probably one hit kill Umbreon, possibly due to one, his level and his power, and two, the fact that he's a fighting type, one of the two types that are actually good against Umbreon here. Uh, let's see. Get a little more damage there. And I really don't want to have to redo this fight, honestly, because guys, this uh, fuck Sanji, this fight can't. It's probably gonna be the most challenging you've had yet if you're not able to take down his other Pokemon fast. If you can isolate him on top, it's not gonna be a hard battle whatsoever. I'll just say that now. I mean, you're not really gonna have too much trouble overall. Uh, unless this thing gets majorly awesome defenses. Although, luckily, our Toxic there, that was my main purpose, because I know Clan Pearl, depending on how I take it, can be a hard one to take down. Um, let's see, in fact... Umbreon, I think you've done your job for this battle. So, let's give you a break before anything bad happens. And let's bring out Flaffy. Hopefully, Hitmontop's focus energy next attack does not instantly kill one of my Pokemon. Though, Reflect here, guys, I, if you still have Reflect on Espeon, I would highly recommend using it while he still has Hitmontop out, because it will lower his damage by a good margin. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> okay, I was gonna, that was my main reason for bringing Flaffy, bringing Flaffy out anyway. But, okay, that he just beat me to the paralyzation. But yeah, guys, uh, if you have Reflect, it's gonna make him do horrible damage, even if I guess if he gets a critical hit, I'm not sure how critical hits work with uh, Reflect and Light Screen, but <laughs> obviously it's not going to be much of a problem. Now I think we'll start throwing Pokeballs here, I think we're at a good enough stage. Now him on top does have a pretty low catch rate, so I'm, I'm not going to get my hopes up for capturing him with one time. Go Snag Ball! The one Snag Ball, I mean. One jerk. Now I always used to think about him on top when I was a kid, due to the whole triple kick and all that. I actually used to think that him on top had three legs, but if you look, the one that looks like it's towards the back, the quote leg end quote that looks like it's coming out of his ass. If you look closely, it's actually just a tail. It's kind of weird to think of him on top having a tail since he is a somewhat humanoid character, but Pokemon. I mean, but. Eh. I guess whatever works. Now I guess we'll send out a great ball. After one, after this recording session, I'm probably gonna go buy some more Pokeballs if I can. Uh, let's see. Clamper is gonna die this turn to poison anyway, so I think I'll just buff down hit one top here. Go snag great ball. Or would that be great snag ball? I'm not sure. One, two. Damn! Come on, don't don't make this my first Pokemon that I have to use an Ultra Ball on. You are not worthy of the Ultra Ball. It's actually funny when I when I was a kid, I always used to like Great Balls better. One because I liked their design a little better, and two because. Ow! Okay, I was not expecting to actually die from Clam Pearl. Jeez. Anyway, um. One, partially because uh, I like the design, and two, for some reason I always had better luck with Great Balls. I would always get more catches with Great Balls than I would with, um... Really? Really? Wow, that is... That's... You killed my fishy! You... Jerk! You killed my freaking fishy! So I'm sending a birdie after you. Yeah, you die. You led to this. 
My fishy would have survived if it wasn't for that clam pearl. Man, I had the fishy out for Geodude here. Because Geodude, as you guys know, is a general rock type. Very weak to water and grass. Hot, high defense, but low special defense. So yeah, he probably could have done some good damage there. <sighs> well, that's very annoying. Oh, I got fly. <laughs> Okay, him on top. Let's catch you now. Go, snag ball. Am I gonna do that every time? I do not know. One, two, three. Yes. So that's the weird thing. I in my Pokemon XD file that I play that I've been playing on, I actually can't remember once in the entire game where I didn't catch a shadow Pokemon on the first throw that I gave. I honestly can't remember. <sighs> Finally. I wasn't too hectic of a battle. We lost a couple Pokemon, but it went a lot better than I thought it would. I should have declined. We would have just run you out of town if you didn't accept the battle. I have been instructed to capture Celebi, then destroy the relic stone. But matters have not gone according to plan. I shall have to immediately inform Duckham, who has gone to Mount Battle. Yeah, Cypher, you really need to hire some peons that don't blab everything. And he even said, even if I ask, he's not going to tell me. I didn't even ask, and he did tell me. Grandpa, oh, you guys listen to that. Love the music in this place. Grandpa, are you okay? I'm fine, but my partner. Be Pika. Ah, you're safe. Good, good. You battled with honor. If your opponent was any ordinary Pokemon, you would have won. So that was the Shadow Pokemon. Sweeto and Beta, am I right? Thank you for helping us. We should go home for the time being. Wait, well, I want to pick up the file. I want to pick up the Ian file. Jerks. <laughs> Jerky old people. You really had me worried. Please don't do anything so rash and dangerous again. God, if that was Misty as an old lady, uh, times were not good to her. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear, but I couldn't very well let them have their way. Those crooks. They said they were out to capture Relibi. Relibi? Really? Really? Celebi. <laughs> and destroy the relic stone. <laughs> Hmm, why? Might there be a connection between Celebi and Shadow Pokemon? Oh no, that's no good. We came here because we thought you Oh! <laughs> God! Sweeto! Deep voice watch? Oh no, that's no good. We came here because we thought you would know something, Grandpa. No, you came here because you were supposed to visit him and then just forgot about him. Hmm, sorry to disappoint you. Oh yes, dear, didn't we have a stone tablet? It had something about the relic carved into it. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I did have such a stone tablet. Now, where could I have put it away? Let me go look for it upstairs. It may take time, so please be patient. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, just bumped my mic there. I'll try and edit that out. While she's looking, you might try gathering more information on Celebi, sweeto. Go see an old man named Sen Senilor? Senilor? <laughs> he lives near the Pokemon Pokemart down the hill. Have you guys thought about that for Poke Mart and Poke Pokemon Center? Poke Center sounds a little awkward, but Pokemon Mart just sounds really strange. Senelor is the authority when it comes to Celebi. That is, if he remembers. Pika Pika. Oh, it looks like there's something on TV. They have a pretty nice TV. <laughs> now we get a weird side angle. We have received breaking news. Myrby, the brutal crime lord of Pirate Town, has been defeated and driven out of town. Or it's claimed that two young people were behind Myra Beast's downfall. Their identities and where they came from are unknown. Thanks to their heroic work, Pirate Town should hopefully return to its peaceful ways. Peaceful? It was a town of thugs! And scoundrels! It even said on my world map. My world map knows all. <laughs> okay guys, looks like we have to talk to Senelor. Say, let's see, it said he's near the Pokemon Poke Center. I don't know if it's this guy. Mm, no, it doesn't. Nope. He's probably in this house, then. 
I would assume so, it's a close one. Hello, dude with wild fit. Similar? Alright, you wanted to see my dad? He's been getting pretty forgetful lately, though. I'm afraid he might not be much help to you. What's the old man? There's the old man. I think. Ah, oh, you're Egan's beloved torchet. Yeah. No, wait. Who did you say you were? What's that? You wanted to talk to me, Senelor, about Celebi? Have no fear, no problem. Forget something that forget forget something that important? That's not going to happen. Let me start with the relic and the relic forest. According to the ancient lore, the relic is said to hold the power of time travel for Celebi. That mythical power is said to revive the most pleasant, most enjoyable memories of Pokemon. If only it worked on me and brought back my memories of my youth. Ho ho ho. Would you like to hear more? Sure. To meet Celebi directly, you must use an item called the Time Flute. That is all one needs to bring Celebi to the Relic Forest. Celebi will surely cause darkness to flee from the hearts of any Pokemon. Oh gee, it looks like that... It sounded like what he said was perfectly directed towards what we needed. Of course, that happens all the time in real life. <laughs> anyway, looks like she's back. Ah, sweeto, welcome home. I finally found the small tablet. That is the small tablet that has been passed down through our family for over many generations. Examine it. Examine it? What am I, a scientist? Beta, turn the small tablet. You got that thing. There are words carved into the small tablet. Beta read the words. While I'm talking, yay. In Agate's mystic relic, Celebi's power shelters. A heart imprisoned by shadows, its last door shall be opened by the power within. The relic must have have some effect on Shadow Pokemon. I will leave that for you to determine for yourselves. E. Oh. Looks like I got a message on my PDA. Oh, better your PDA just... P, P star DA, excuse me. Just rang. Oh, right. It must be duking with some news. Quick, let's check it out. Yeah, he's the only one with my number. Oh, fine. P star DA. One of the few times you actually have to use this thing. It is email. Excuse me, guys. Emergency. Duking of Pirate Town. Uh-oh. Beta, we got big trouble. I just got word from our people that Mount Battle is under attack by a mysterious group of thugs. Oh, gee, I wonder who they are. Please, can you go help? We think it's the same group that the one Myra B belonged to. We're counting on you. Oh, gee, I figured as much. Well, it looks like we got another quest already. Adventure quest. What? Those crooks are loose on Mount Battle now? That's awful. We can't let this go on. Beta, let's go. Oh, wait. Grandpa, where is Mount Battle anyway? It's a... What? What? Sorry if that got, that hurt your ears, guys, but... What? Mount Battle. It's a giant freaking mountain. I doubt there are many mountains in this region unless you count the giant stony cliffs and... Messiahs around here. <sighs> Mount Battle is to the northeast. You can see it in the distance once you leave the village. Hurry, sweeto. Well, given how the edge of this town looks, I guess maybe you can't see it from here. I mean, seriously, look at this. Look at the edge of town, guys. Clouds. Clouds, 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 clouds. And giant stone spires. This is like the perfect place for me to live in. <laughs> I would love this. Be terrified of falling off the edge, but I would love it. And in real life, they'd probably have guardrails. Yeah, they'd only have guardrails in the in the real world, because in the Pokemon world, a special force keeps you from ever falling off an edge, except in very rare instances, when game logic just fails. Now, uh, I guess before we head out, there is, there are a couple things I can show you. Now, I failed to show this before, but I guess I can show it now while we're out. If you go to the Pokemon Mart here, Pokemart, God, I just talked about that. Earlier. You will see here HP up, protein, iron, carbos, calcium, zinc, and then sense, but. You guys will actually see here that they sell the stat raising items here. Although, look at the price tag there. 9,800. I don't even have enough for two of these. Yeah, so... <laughs> not really the best thing. It's better for the end game when you have a lot of extra money. But, yeah, it's not really needed now, guys. Now, these things here, guys, I guess I can show one of them. Let's see. Yeah, cologne case. You need a cologne case to buy these scents. Um, you know, actually, I think I'll be calling this an episode anyway. Uh, 
in the next episode, I will see if I can try and get a cologne case and remember how to get that for you guys. And I'll be showing a few little things before we head off to Mount Battle. So guys, this has been Bay Nights for Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Have a good night, y'all. Bye-bye.